Welcome to another episode of That Arrow Show. Tonight's episode, Thanatos. We're gonna get into the good, we're gonna get into the bad, and we're gonna get into the laurel. All right, let's kick it. So on tonight's episode, uh, the League of Shadows are after Thea, cause she's the key to a map. Let's get into it. First, the good. All right, now it's time for the bad. Woo, who wants to go ahead? I'll keep the sandwich. So, <laughs> a couple things I didn't get. So Merlin was Ra's al Ghul for all the two days, but he was able to manage to pull a cult faction in the League of Shadows to follow him. Apparently the whole time this girl was the sec this lady was the second in command and we just now hearing about her and now they ride or die strong for Merlin even though he did and that's not the uh legal shadow away. So that whole premise is just screams of stupidity. I don't even think he pulled them in personally. I think they rose up and collected after he died. But I mean you couldn't tell because let's go into my bag. This the writing and the story in general was boring and stupid as fuck. For this to be Thea's swan song, it was really fucking depressing. <laughs> and not in a she's gone kind of way. Like, this is her in send a, off. This is the best they could do. So, I want to go over a couple of things about how poor the writing is. You ever notice how whenever Oliver is argue, arguing with someone and they actually have a legitimate point, then he says something and then when they're going to he says his weak ass response or whatever and then when they retaliate back they conveniently get interrupted because the plot needed them to do that i was holding my breath about that for so for so many episodes and then they did it again today and i'm like i have to make mention of this because it keeps happening and wow <laughs> um another thing Let's kill off minorities again. We didn't learn anything. Apparently Tigress is a person. Tigressa, whatever. And her, apparently, her, her and they drunk her up to be this badass. And she just got murked in the, she didn't even get murked on screen. She exactly. got, she got off killed panel. off screen. Yeah. We didn't even, by, by who, we don't know. See that badass sitting at the table, taking all those shots. You don't want to fuck with her. Next scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a couple of baths too. Um, one, so. You mentioned Thea. This was Thea's stomp, uh, swan song. Not only was this Thea's swan song, but this was part two of the Herald Return of Roy Harper. So, let's, let me get this straight. Roy Harper comes back in the last episode, does not suit up, gets his ass beat, and is out of commission for the rest of the episode. Then in this episode, it's, it's a theater episode, so it's, he's really tertiary to the plot other than we got to get the fuck out of here, you know. And then he does not suit up because he doesn't have a suit anymore. But, oh, let's replace it with that shitty trucker hat he briefly wore in the comics that no one fucking liked. And then on top of all of that shit, he did not fight. He was just around. When fighting <laughs> things happened, you did not see Roy fight. He, he fought like a second. No, he got his ass whooped. I, yeah. He got his ass whooped thoroughly. That, that, was, that is not what I wanted to see in the return of Roy Harper. Like, like, like when you going out, like, we're supposed to see Thea and Roy at their peak. Exactly. Like, if you leave Doing the show, the dirt. leave a mark. Exactly. Don't like, be a mark. Like, and, 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 and you know what? I'm going to mention this before I mention my second major bad. So, this is bad one, 2.0. It was just so weak. It was... They they are going to... Thea has left the show four times already. So this was not... This was not... The ending of this was not, like, emotional. Like, I didn't care. It was like... For me, it was like... It was like thank you. Exactly. Like, like you're actually moving on you, you've literally left the show in one form or another four times so at this point i'm like no. is this real and if it is whatever you can go and piggybacking off your roy comment and the fucking truckers hat 
at least give him a mask or something. It, it, Instead of letting him blow in the wind like Joe Dick. I mean, but, I mean that just that speaks to how shitty the writing was because we just forgot all of that last episode. We forgot about the fact that that motherfucker was supposed to be so injured that he was gonna need weeks to recover and shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, Renee's not even on the show anymore because he need rehabilitation and shit. And I'm like. There's, and, no, and you, there's no consistency. And, like, and you know, like we 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 don't give a fuck that Lance is still living with Laurel. And that's that's another it, like this. That's we, another bad. We did just like they reminded like, us like that they, they speed past like, like they farted that happen. they farted that shit out. And, then, and I'm like, speaking of that, that's another. <laughs> got that's to a, stop. <laughs> that's another bad that I have. Like it was like, yeah, Laurel. You know, I know she's not my real Laurel. You know, she's just cooking and doing my drawers at home. Wait, what? <laughs> And, and they okay with it. He's like, <laughs> like they they are okay with this. You, just, you literally just put it out there that I know she's not my daughter, sorry, but I can potentially fuck her. <laughs> so well, like, the, the line he threw out was, I, I think she's trying to change from being a murderer, from being a sociopath. Because she makes you great. So she's changing now. My second point, the fighting things were hot garbage. You mean if you could see them? <laughs> Hot garbage on a stick. Okay. Served open face. Another bad that I have is Mr. Terrific. Now, the past couple of episodes, he was doing great. He was taking leadership. He was taking charge. And then he backslid this episode to being a 16-year-old girl. And it, it was like, it it. It was such a counterproductive move. I wonder if they're going to invite me to the party. Oh, that guy you work with is so hot and super cute. I was like... What's going on here? Addendum to that, that I wonder if they're gonna invite me to the party bullshit. So, uh, Riders of Arrow, which is it? Do y'all, do they not fuck with each other no more or what? Exactly. Because on the one hand, uh, Felicity is like, we got information. No, it wasn't Felicity. Oliver was like, we got information from, from the other team that that, you know, these are the list of cops that are dirty and shit. And then, you know, on the other side of the spectrum, they like, we should have been at Roy's party and shit. I thought y'all didn't fuck with each other. The part that's killing me is that you're defining a grown ass man by his relationships. And that, that like literally, Curtis is defined by who he's dating. Cause every episode up until now has been, I'm alone and I'm divorced. I wish I could find somebody. Oh man, it's tough out there being single. I was like, come on, man. That's everybody on Arrow, though. True. Even Oliver. True. Well, mm. This whole episode was defining his relationships. That was the C plot. Because it was all, he's still married to. Uh, I, whatever, 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 whatever. Was that shit even fucking legal? All right, now we're moving on to the Laurels. And I hear that you're up on deck. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Dig him. Thank you. Bro. Okay, I, he was mine too. So oh, let's go. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> if you weren't gonna do it, I'm <laughs> glad we broke the ice. <laughs> you know what? Talk about, talk about oh, the shuck and the jive. <laughs> It's all new levels. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, no, you know what? We gonna reverse order it. You go first. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. The dialogue. You need to stop stringing Diggle along. Like there, it, there were hints of it like throughout the entire episode. <laughs> Diggle's like, oh, the you know you were passing on the costume when you when you get out the costume. Like and Oliver's sitting there trying to justify why he's Green Arrow because he's Green Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you have your own persona that you spent time building. But, but hold up, wait, wait, wait. I need to. I need to. <laughs> let, me, let me just say this real quick. What makes it so stupid is you want to be a motherfucker whose main weapon you can't even use. As accurate as the person who uses it. I don't play basketball, so I'm not pissed off that LeBron James is LeBron James, and I can't be that motherfucker. You can't That's be King how James? that works. You can't be King James. No, I, apparently not. But I'm really pissed about it. He told me I could do it for six minutes, and then he took the shit back. Like for real? This is, what the fuck are we doing? The part that kills me about this is. He is so angry that he can't be the arrow. Mind you, all the time you spent in building Spartan. Fuck that. You're so upset 
with not being the arrow. Where's the same passion for the fact that you haven't even seen your fucking kids and your fucking wife in this whole entire season? What the fuck about that? You know what? Show, show Diggle Jr. Show Diggle Jr. That same energy you show Oliver. <laughs> when you, you, you gonna put me in the field? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you mentioned Diggle Jr. Let Let transfer that about fathers and sons because that's my thing with Diggle because it also wraps up with Oliver. So, well, first I want to say that, Diggle, now you realize that maybe all is making fucked up decisions now. We should speak up about it. You know, now now you do that. But let's, let, you know, let's get back to the point I was going to make. So, the reason Oliver wanted to not be Green Arrow anymore was so that he could take care of his growing spawn, right? Of course. That's the black he pimped. And in doing so, everybody else, including Diggle, had to make sacrifices to keep that charade going, right? Well, we know as a as a privileged Whitman that he did that that Oliver wouldn't have to. Okay, I'm breaking it down. Good. Yeah. At the detriment of Diggle's family and Renee's family, right? Yeah, because as we noticed, all the people of color have to sacrifice while the Whitman gets to stay ahead. Okay, y'all following this? <laughs> because we breaking it down, we doing the best we can. So now he wants to be the arrow again because it's part of him, right? Black Lives Matter. <laughs> and the reason he said that he can be the arrow again was because William said that he was okay with it, right? So your son had to give you confirmation so you put your life on the line. Permission was the word I was looking for. Yeah, but I was going to say he signed a permission slip. <laughs> Dear daddy, you can go outside after dark. <laughs> so I'm going to get to the crux of this. Diggle is willing to put this boy who he is not related to on a pedestal and drop his son off in the in the gutter as it were. Because as far as I'm concerned, the only reason everybody going through all these changes is because Oliver is a fuckhead. Yeah. Yeah. And much an overprivileged asshole. I mean he decides to jump in and jump out like double deck. <laughs> <laughs> and now he wants to change his mind and now Diggle is thinking maybe Oliver is not making the right decision. I'm more upset my, because, my, and, I'm, and the only reason he's doing that is because he can't be the green arrow anymore. Well my thing is like you were saying. Diggle does not have to be Green Arrow. Like, well, this came out of nowhere. It was like, I, I want to be the Green Arrow. Like, what? I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, we were just talking about juice. <laughs> Apple <Yeah>. or orange? <laughs> green <laughs> Arrow. <laughs> but you do realize the Green, land, the green Arrow is considered a bad guy. Everybody's hunting him. I'm actually trying to spare you, but I don't want to be the sacrificial lamb. You got a family. Like, like, green Arrow is being charged for murder right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't understand. So far, Spartan is an accessory and a person of color that can get shot in the street. Like, I don't so... understand this martyrdom to this, this martyr. Is that the word? Yeah. Martyr, Mar martyr. Martyrdom. I don't understand the martyrdom to keep Oliver's shit. Like I said, major this shuck, minor this jive. I'm not really liking this diggle. But you know what's so funny and so ridiculous at the end of the day and what really brings down Diggle as a character? Like, look at what's going on. How many times have Diggle been disappointed in Oliver and he stood and he stood by him and still stay on the team. We had six seasons, right? So six seasons. Okay. Yeah. Look what happened when the new team Arrow didn't like what Oliver was doing. They left. Diggle isn't even man enough or have the courage to pack his shit and leave. It's like a weird Stockholm syndrome. Let me let me be real with you. Yeah, Oliver is the Green Arrow because essentially he thought of it first. Like, if I decide to be the Blue Hornet tomorrow, like, 
I'm the blue hornet because I thought of it first and went out there first. But nothing is literally stopping him from going out there. Exactly. If Dizzle was like, fuck you, I'm out, the next day he could literally put on a green hood and do the shit on his own. But why are you asking permission? Exactly. All right, everyone. That's it for another episode of That Arrow Show. I gotta, I gotta admit, this was garbage. Let, let me just say real quick, I was gonna, I was considering not doing any more, joining you guys for these, you know, fun-filled Arrow nights if they had decided to do the Black Lives Matter episode. I, th I think I still might be out. <laughs> Based on what I see happening in the devil right now, this is, I can't, <laughs> I can't see the homie go out like that. This, this is bad. And then the big payoff of the episode was, terrible. hey, we found three Lazarus Pit. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe, do stuff. <laughs> Twitter, YouTube, maybe, maybe we'll be back page. Who cares? <laughs> Craigslist. Maybe, maybe we'll be back next week to review Villains for Hire. AKA Arrow. <laughs> I don't know. But but seriously, like and subscribe. Let us know your goods, bads, and laurels of this episode. I mean, seriously, for people to be interested, they need to put the show on Tinder. Tinder? Tinder? Is that what that is? Tinder. Whatever. Swipe? The swiping? I don't know, man. Okay, well, I gotta pay for pussy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. <laughs>